have waited in line just to share this experience of Venom, Candyman, Night Living Dead, The Rock, Final Destination. But I want you to know you are now entering the Cinema, Cinema Chop, Chop Shop. <laughs> with a top top and a pop pop pop. Cinema Chop Shop. What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your ass right there. And right there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. And you already know what we're here to do today. We're here to talk about a little bit of horror news, shall we? First, I want to open up with a big RIP, rest in peace to Shelly Duvall, who we all know as the wife on The Shining. Um, she passed away today in her sleep due to complications with diabetes. Her spouse said that it's been a very, very rigorous battle, and she's been in a lot of pain and suffering. And although he's sad to see her go, um, you know, this might have been the piece that she was uh, searching for. So rest in peace to Shelly, Shelly Duvall. You know, we will miss you. Iconic character. And she was actually getting ready to return to the world of film. And not only the world of film, but she was also getting ready to return to the war, world of horror. You know, she was uh, set to release a movie called the Forest Hills. Uh, I saw the trailer for it. I thought it looked actually kind of fantastic. I was really intrigued. I was interested to see it. But um, currently, I believe they are looking for a distributor. I know that it had a small circuit release uh, during some full, uh, some film festivals. And because of that, they're gauging interest from uh, different distributors. So we will see when we actually get this movie released. But rest in peace to Shelley Duvall in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to, you know, show her a little bit of respect. Put rest in peace of Shelly Duvall in the comment section. Um, give me a fond memory of her. Let me know what your favorite scene from her of The Shining is. Everybody already know the, the classic, iconic, long-ass cigarette stem with that ash about yay big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, shout-outs to her. You'll be um, missed. Now, moving on, we have a little bit of interesting news about Mia Goth. Now, Mia Goth is the star of the movie Maxine, X, and Pearl. And also she did uh, Infinity Pool. Now, you know me, I'm not a huge fan of Mia Goth, but she's in the she's kind of in the interesting news perspective today. So what's going on is she is being sued from an extra in the movie Maxine. Why, you may ask? Well, apparently not only did she physically assault him, but she also verbally assaulted him, too. So according to the extra, he said that he was on the set of Maxine. And in one of the scenes, she ran down the alley and then she almost kicked him, like she almost hit him. And he went up to the producer, was like, Look, could you ask her to like be a little bit more careful? Because when she was running by, like she almost kicked me in the head as she was going by. And the producer was like, All right, all right, sure, we'll talk to her, whatever, you know. And they redid the scene, and he's laying down again, and she goes running through the alley again, but this time she macks him in the head, right? You know, and and he quickly gets up and runs to the bathroom. And I, I, from what I've read, he suffered from a concussion. And as he's going to the bathroom, apparently she rips open the fucking door and she starts talking shit to him. She allegedly told him, nobody will believe you because you're nothing. Now get the fuck off my set, you big baby. Now, the funny thing about this, the thing that makes this, I know physical assault, verbal assault, none of that stuff is funny. But I don't know if you guys have heard Mia Goss' real voice. She's British, and she has this whiny, squeaky, like, I just got my toes stepped on voice. So I can't just imagine her like, nobody will believe you because you're nothing. Get the fuck off my set, you big baby. Like, that's how she sounds. And I don't know, she just sounds like somebody that's, like, deep in the boroughs of Britain that have been doing coke, and they got some fucked up ass teeth. And they just, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I just can't imagine her saying this shit. But... The, the truth of the matter is she's been she's been praised a lot lately and sometimes these actresses and actors can let that shit go to their head now i'm not saying that the man the extras being honest i can't say that the extra is you know telling 100% the truth 
But at the same time, we kind of don't know who's in who who did what here. But we're just going off a of hearsay. But apparently, this is what he's suing. He must have some sort of evidence against her if he's going to the lengths that he's going. And hey, we will see what becomes of this. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Mia Goth <laughs> physically and emotionally assaulted this man? I think she might have probably kicked him in the head, maybe running through. Uh, was it on purpose? Hey, who freaking knows? But I don't, we got to find out if Mia Goth is a, is, is a method actor. If she's a method actor, then that makes the possibility of this happening maybe a little bit more realistic too. But this wouldn't be the first time that you hear about these actors and actresses letting the role go to their head and then getting like all pumped up and it just extra out and letting it go to them and, and being really ridiculous to not only like extras, but also like producers, cameramen and things like that. So I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's, I think there's a possibility behind this, and especially if he settles, if she settles, I, I think that there's a possibility that we're going to see some sort of settlement. Maybe she was doing the coke that she was playing in this movie. I mean, she does fit the role of a cokehead a little bit too perfectly, in my opinion. But you know, that's just here. That's neither here nor there. Moving on to the next one, we got the Toxic Mother Freaking Avenger. Now. A lot of you guys have heard about the Toxic Avenger. It has some really good actors and actresses behind it. I mean, one of the most notable characters in the movie is probably Peter Dinklage, uh, and I'm just I'm surprised, but not surprised at the same time. When I first heard about Toxic Avenger and then this movie getting a theatrical release, I'm like, damn, they were really able to get this movie a theatrical release. Like, I they really remade it. They have some really good actors and actresses behind it. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised, you know, because when you hear trauma or, you know, uh, trauma, when you think about trauma, you think of super gritty, low budget movies never really released in films, you know, and to have their property getting this kind of treatment, I thought it was a it was a pleasant surprise, but also I was here for it. But now um, news has come out that there's producers and executives and, and people in the business saying that this movie is unreleasable. They have no faith in it. They don't think that it's going to make any money. They think that if they send it to theaters, it's going to bomb, and they don't want to back it. So because of this, um, the and also the movie didn't do overly well at screeners. It has a very niche audience. It has a small market audience. Not too many people know about The Toxic Avenger, and I can see how that may not appeal to everyone. You're, the main reason for making a movie most of the time is because you want they, the studios want to make money. The reason they back these projects because they want to make money. But to say like this movie is like unreleasable is kind of crazy. Um, I think that they should sell the rights to Shutter and then let Shutter release the damn movie because let's let's be honest here, Shutter has released what three damn movies in in theaters. I, I mean, it, it did in violent in a violent nature. It also did Late Night with the Devil, and I think there's another one in there floating around somewhere. Um, Shutter's been doing has a really good relationship with movie theaters, and also on top of that, dude, seriously, we had um, what's that third Rob Zombie movie? Um, the freaking um, Three from Hell, that got a freaking theatrical release. Do the shit through Fathom Events or something. You there's so to me there's so many ways to go around this. I, I think there's ways to make money. Hell, even Ter Terrifier 2 got theatrical releases. Like, let's not bullshit here. Um, there's ways around this shit. Um, I, I think there's ways around it. They can do it. They might just be looking for a really big studio to back it, and that's not definitely going to happen. Uh, the thing about it is the studios are saying that this might be a straight to video on demand. And is that a bad thing? Not really. But at the same time, I think it just depends on who you send it to. You know, I think if they do it with Shutter, I think there's a possibility that this movie can hit the movie theaters and also Shutter at the same time. You know, I think there's a way for them to all win in this situation, but it really depends on how they go about it. But that's all the horror news that I have for now, uh, only simply because there wasn't much horror news, but I thought that was the most interesting stuff. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Don't forget to show your respects to Shelly Duvall. Um, let me know in the conversation down below if you think Mia Goth actually did that shit. And then also let me know how you guys feel about the Toxic Avenger. Do you guys know about it? Have you ever heard of it? And is it something that you're interested in doing or seeing? Anyway, that's all I got. Let me know in the conversation down below what you think. You are now exiting this in the chop shop. Hope you guys have a magnificent day. And adios, homies. Take care, and I will see you guys next time. I want to play a game. Subscribe now. The choice is yours.
visiting the cinema church. <laughs>